what you're about to watch is going to shock some of you. And some of you won't even care, as this has become the norm for billions of people all over the world. Notice what this woman says who's running for president of the United States. Not only is she seeking to please the Pope in her statements so as to gain political positioning regarding his long prophesied and recently proven false climate change agenda, by the way, she is knowingly and quite boldly belittling the God of the universe in the same process. These people are our elected leaders. And as we know, most of them are blatantly corrupt. But when they declare they know what God's law says regarding his Sabbath day, and then in the same breath, boldly declare on camera that they're going to ignore the God of heaven and his eternal law, it not only shows what time we are in biblical history, it shows how our own leaders are going to be used by Satan to make truth come off as a lie and the commandments come off as suggestions. Check this out. Can go very fast, uh, Senator Klobuchar. Thank you. Uh, this is the existential crisis of our time. It's, you know, that movie, The Day After Tomorrow? It's today. Uh, we have seen a warming in our world uh, like never before. We're seeing flooding in the Midwest, flooding in Houston, fires in the West. And I think having someone leading the ticket from the Midwest will allow us to talk about this in a different way and get it done. On day one, I will get us back into the International Climate Change Agreement. On day two, I will bring back the clean power rules that President Obama had worked on. On day three, I will bring back the gas mileage standards. You can do all that without Congress, which is good. On day four, five, and six, I will, working with Congress and mayors and business people all over the country, introduce sweeping legislation to get at that Thank 2050 you. goal. And on day seven, you're supposed to rest, but I won't. Uh, Senator this Warren, is what uh, we need uh, to do if we're going to get at climate change. We have to take this on as a crisis that's happening. Right now. now keep in mind, as students of prophecy, we know the Pope is going to use climate change to demand Sunday laws all over the world so as to stop the calamities, which we also know have nothing to do with global warming and everything to do with the signs that were prophesied regarding the soon return of Jesus Christ. In other words, everything you see happening in nature has nothing to do with the Pope's claims about climate change and all this other stuff. It has to do with what the Bible says is going to happen directly before Jesus gets here. And we also know that Sunday laws are, in fact, the admitted mark of the beast in Rome. And so expect to see more and more religion in politics in the coming days and expect to see more and more sinful statements as this woman just made regarding the Sabbath of the Creator God. One last thing, though. If you're a Seventh-day Adventist and you know about what's happening here, if you get your hands on the original Spirit of Prophecy books found at vbates.com, you will see that even the Seventh-day Adventist leaders have bowed to Rome in recent days. But if you keep reading the Spirit of Prophecy books that your church gives you with thousands of statements missing or changed, then you will not see what the true remnant people have been seeing for decades, and you simply will not be ready for the return of Christ. Thank you for watching. God bless.